Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 14.57, okay? So it's, it says, the 10 pound collar starts from a rest at A and it's lifted with a constant speed of two feet per second along the smooth road. Determine the power developed by the force F at the instant shown. All right, so what we have in here is that we have this collar and we it's basically traveling around this um, smooth rod and it's traveling around that because we have a force F that is pushing it up upwards, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do to solve this problem is write out our givens. The first thing that is given to us is that the weight of this collar is 10 pounds. Then we're given that the velocity, the constant speed is equal to two feet per second, okay? And that's all it's given to us. So in order to find the power, we're going to utilize equations from the 14.4 chapter, which are the power and the efficiency equation. And in order to find our power, we need the force and we need the velocity. We know the velocity already, so all we need to do is find this force, okay? So how do we find this force? So uh, in order to find the force, we first we're going to do a free body diagram, just like in any of our problems, so free body diagram. And we're going to draw a free body diagram of our color. So our color looks something like this, like a rectangular shape. So now we can take a look. What forces do we have in this color at A? So we have the tension force of our cable that looks something like this. So this is our force. And then we're going to call it force F. The direction can be given with respect to the same size of this rope. So we will have that from the x-axis is about three. The vertical is four, therefore the hypotenuse is five. This is just by a similar triangle direction. What other force do we have? Well, this color has a weight, therefore we have a force going downwards. That way it's going to be W. We also have the normal that the surface of the smooth road is applying to the color. Well, it's, since we have also some direction to the right, that means that the surface will want to push me to the left in order to just move vertically up or down, right? So we have a normal force that is going to the left in this case and we're going to call it normal. So the main objective is to find this force F. We know the weight, therefore we're going to utilize the sumatory forces in the y direction. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to say, hey, it's sumatory forces in the y direction, going up is positive, that's my assumption. So what do we have? Well, we got that four over five of F is going in the y direction. So we got four fifths, of my force F is going up, so positive. And then we got minus W, and this is equal to mass times acceleration. But wait a second, we don't know the acceleration. So the hint in here is that we are at a constant speed, meaning a constant velocity means that our acceleration is equal to zero. Therefore, all my right hand side is equal to zero. So if we solve for F, that is going to be W times five, divided by four. Okay, so we can plug in the numbers, which is 10 times five, and all this divided by four. So basically, if we plug this into our calculator, we can conclude that this is a total of 12.5 pounds. Okay, so we got our force F, we know our velocity, therefore we can find our power, okay? So let's go ahead and find the power, which is what the problem is asking us, which is force times velocity. Well, but what is the force that we need to find? It's not exactly just my force F. It's the amount of force that is in the direction of the velocity. Well, the velocity is going upward, right? So we need the same direction for our force. And this force F in here, has some component going in that direction, which is this four over five of my force F. So we got four over five of my force F. So let me write this five a little bit better. 
my force f is 12.5 so this is our force and we need to multiply it by the velocity well the velocity is given as 2 okay so we plug these values into our calculator and we get that this gives me a total of 20 pounds times feet per second all right so we found our power however these are not the usual units that uh, we think of it in the English system the usual units what we're going to need is to convert them to horsepower and we can do that by this conversion factor so all we need to do is take that 20 divided by 550 and if we do that this will give me a total of 0 0.03636 and so on 36 horsepower so let's be a little bit more engineering and let's just keep into account three significant figures so i'm going to stop in there that will mean that this is equal to 0 0.0364 horsepower and this should be our final answer for our problem so i hope you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one